Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. My name is Renata and in today's video, let's get a little comfortable here. In today's video, we are going to talk about fashion. Yes, I said fashion. I've been trying to decide how I want to, you know, share myself and the channel name says it all. It's Life with Renata Marie and it, it incorporates every aspect of who I am. So all the things I like to do and all the things I want to share, I'm going to do it here. Obviously home decorating and um, taking care of the space, baking and cooking, that's everything that I am and I love. And my other channel is all focused on sewing and, you know, handmade items. I just wanted to bring that portion over here and then try to marry the two of them together and hopefully one day just have one channel but for now it's split so this video is basically giving you guys an idea of what is cottage core it is a term that is new to me i have a whole blog post dedicated to this but i'm just touching on some things that i i wanted to share just so you guys have an idea if you happen to stumble upon my channel and you landed here and you're watching this i thought that you should know some things about the cottagecore trend and how you can bring sweetness a little romance into your wardrobe so if that interests you please meet me in the next section so the disclaimer here is that I am not a professional trend expert <laughs> and things that I see may not actually reflect someone else's thoughts and I've tried to research as best I could, as deep as I could to what I see regarding this trend because I just did a light research. I didn't go super deep. I'm just really loving the, the construction, the, the form, the fit of the pieces. So I may not actually have done a lot of deep research. So I didn't do a major deep dive into this topic, but I did kind of skim the surface. So here is what I would say the cottage core is. After reading, and if you guys want to check out my blog, the link is down below. Cottage core is all about living simply and it is rooted in traditional skills. A lot of us may not know what traditional skills are because we don't spend our time doing any of those. We use our phone all day long. We're stuck in it. We're watching it. We're shopping. We're buying food. We're talking to friends. That's our life. Traditional skills would be the things that I do here on my channel. I cook, I clean, I sew, gardening, and the styling of your pieces based on that mindset is going to look a little bit different from someone else that doesn't do that. So for me, I never really do my nails because I don't see the need for it. My nails are always neat and short. It's easy for me because I run a lot. I work out a lot. I have to knead flour and there's nothing more gross than having long nails and kneading a flour. Like to me, that's kind of disgusting. And I just cannot think about eating a slice. Of Let's not even go there, <laughs> you know? So for me, this is part of my life. I have to keep my nails short because I do a lot of stuff with my hand. I run, I work out, I cook, I clean, I scrub. So when you're thinking about a trend like this, the cottage core that says it's about living a simple life and doing things that are more traditional. So taking long walks, going in parks, doing pastimes like that is all this trend is spewing out right now. I also did um, a little more research regarding specific styling. So the styling that you would, 
you would put these pieces to are like cozy pieces. You want to be a little more girly, you want to uh, be more comfortable and be in tune with nature. So you look for natural pieces to add to your overall wardrobe. And it's not just a wardrobe, it's your whole aesthetics. Now for me, my mind switches back and forth through styles and what things look nice. So I have a specific personal aesthetics that I stick to, but I don't mind pulling some pieces into this. So that's why on my blog you'll see it says cottage core. What is cottage core? And then how how does prairie style fit into cottage core? Because for me, I am really into that prairie aspect of it. I'm into those those puff sleeves, those um Victorian elements, those lace, those gathering, pin talk, sharing. I'm more in tune to that. I'm, I'm not into the whole life of cottage core. I just want the dresses. I just want the dress. Just buy me the dress. That's all I want. So let's just talk about some key skills for homemaking just because I think it's really interesting that they, they they label this as traditional skills and for me I wish that it was skills for everyone like everyday skill everyone should know how to cook at least to live for a day or two I mean you need to be in a clean space and it's really important to know how to sew a button on to know what a needle is I mean come on so it's kind of interesting to me that these things are no longer just known and they're kind of lost so I guess it's really nice that trends like these can bring a resurgence into it and I guess it all started to pick up after 2020 when we were all home just being internal having nothing to do seeing each other for like the first time in t in years because we're actually in one space it can't be running here and they're going to different areas and different activities so I guess that's why gardening has skyrocketed and um, people have been picking up new crafts and learning new things and and they are learning new things but these things have been around forever so that's basically what cottage core is to me i may not have um explained it very eloquently <laughs> so hopefully you head over to the blog where i spent a lot of time putting my words together there so that you guys can have a clear idea but the prairie style is really where i am at i feel like this is one of the styles that represent me. I'm a very feminine lady. I love wearing beautiful dresses. I sew, like I said, a whole lot. I have tons of dresses. If you see me in a dress, more than likely I've sewn it. However, this one is a Lauren Conrad I picked up at Kohl's um, a year ago. But I sew pretty much all my clothing. And I just think that it's a really beautiful, beautiful style. I love the prairie style. I love those sleeves. I like the elasticized waist. And you guys, if you haven't seen or remember back in 2017, 2018, when there was a big deal going on about statement sleeves, I think because of those, those themes that were falling through, that's why these sort of resurgences started to um, come alive because we went from those extremely amazing statement sleeves which by the way gets in the way if you have to use a restroom or wash your hands that's why i don't do statement sleeves that reach my wrists unless i'm going somewhere specific and i know whose house it is <laughs> um, those were pretty big and, and then we kind of cut away from the statement bell sleeves and we started to bring it back up and more puff sleeve and the puff sleeve started to direct us more to the midi length dresses and that sort of um, prairie 
style where the dresses are longer, they're flowing, they're lacy, they have all these intricate details in it and I love it. So that's kind of where I thought this trend started to pick up and become a thing. But again, this is not a professional talk in here, so <laughs> this is just in my humble opinions. So hopefully you can go out there and do your research because, you know, that's why the internet's out there. Do your research. I am sharing what I found, but you could go deeper and find a lot more than I, and you can leave something in the comments to help everyone. I think if you start envisioning the outfits, you think about taking long walks, just being really relaxed. That's the whole aesthetics of this trend. It's just relax and just stop thinking and just thinking about being cozy. Can you imagine, you know, what you'd think about if you were rolled up in your grandma's blanket? Like, how cozy would that be? It would be extra cozy because you'd be remembering things that, you know, she said to you or your grandpa or, or just something sentimental. I think this this trend really kind of tries to resonate deep within us and things that connect us to each other and I like that about it. So for me I just love beautiful things. I love romantic pieces. I love beautiful colors. I'm not much of a pink girl. I'm a lilac purple kind of girl and I just love colors like that. I also like browns. I mean, let's just scrap the whole thing. I love all colors. <laughs> like, you know what? There are some shades of certain colors that just don't work. Some shades. But I don't ever like reject a color unless I really think about it. And sometimes it grows on me, as you will see in my accompanying <laughs> blog post, there is a sewn blouse in there that I made and I'm not too sure about that color. And I talk a lot about that in my pattern review. So I have a link to that video down below. So I think um, when you're thinking about just embracing color and embracing different trends sometimes the whole the whole thing doesn't work for you but a piece of might and you might just want to take a try i mean the worst you can do is be like i'm done i'm not wearing this again and then you know right so that is one aspect of the fashion piece for the cottage core. So I think it does have a lot to do with when you're pulling your outfits together to just kind of think about your grandparents, your great grandparents. What would they wear if they were going to the market? Those are the things that resonate with this cottage core trend. So I know that if my grandma was going to the market back in Trinidad, she would have a really big basket, but I know for sure she would have an apron on with her skirt and she'd have her coins in <laughs> the pocket of the apron on the front. I remember that. I've seen her with that before uh, when I was really young. Um, because she passed when I was seven. So I was really young, but I could remember her going to the market and that was one of her outfits and she'd have a really big basket of banana on her head. <laughs> but yeah, that's what she'd, that was, that was what she'd wear if she was going to the market. Now if she was going shopping to the market, she would have a really pretty, hand basket, a hand woven basket. I think one of her sisters probably made those. And then she would have a really long dress, but still she'd have an apron on and I just never understood why. But yeah, and then she'd have her head tied. So I can see, you know, light blue is something that's a color that she really loves. And she liked little white flowers and white trims. So I remember that. So you just, 
pull pieces from your memory and if you can't how about watch a period movie and that will give you an idea of some of these trends and how you can bring them in history is a great tool to assist us so don't uh, don't forget to research yourself and find find ways to to bring in trends if you are a trend person because I know not everyone wants to be on trend and that's like me I saw whatever I want I think in the end just be intentional so if you're interested in this cottage core trend be very intentional do your research take a look online Pinterest is like the best place to go to find inspiration they have a lot of beautiful photos that can help you but definitely do your research I think it's really nice to do a period research so you can learn about the shapes um, of blouses dresses skirts lengths and um, the adornments on these as well so just be intentional on my blog I have five um, five points of being intentional with your outfits but I'm just going to show you two right now so just think about adding pretty ditzy prints to your wardrobe so you can buy a ditzy print blouse a dress a skirt um, what about belts you can add black belt to your outfit to your dress and and basically this is like for longer pieces most of the pieces in this trend are longer so they're more midi length so think about belts to help cinch the waist because they're more free, free flowing dresses so think about um, belts to cinch your waist in especially if the dress does not have an elasticized waist so think about woven belts black brown black and brown make sure there's some sort of natural theme to it and then what about a headscarf? Headscarves were really big back in uh, the 19th century, um, the 20s, just around World War II. Uh, Those headscarves were really, really uh, pretty and they were just a little piece of history that you can be adding to your wardrobe. And then think of hemlines. So look at the hemlines that are on your pieces that you're considering buying do they have ruffles do they have lace how much ruffle how much lace think about that think about um, pieces that have like ties on the neck you know that's a great detail that's kind of towards that trend so I just gave you two out of my three um, be intentional points for your outfit but you can visit that link and find some more insight and hey headbands again headscarves headbands those are really good sweet sweet pieces to add to your wardrobe to create that cottage style prairie style vintage inspired romantic look so i'm going to stop right now I'm going to bring in my beautiful, completed, prairie-inspired blouse. I am going to share a little twirl with you. If you're interested, guys, check the link down below. My pattern review will show you guys the pattern I used and my thoughts about sewing this project.
there you have it thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you learned a little bit about cottage core that whole new trend that is sweeping the home decorating world as well as the fashion trend i feel like it has a lot more to do with prairie inspired pieces if i'm wrong let me know down below thank you again so much for taking time to watch this video i really appreciate your time and i hope you have an amazing day and that I get to see you on another upload really soon. Bye-bye.